Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lo-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, Frank, and you're listening to the best podcast on the internet. Because it's got Rick. Hey. And it's got Caleb. Hey, how's it going? Full of salami mouth, Caleb. True, it's true. I don't deny it. I, I'm, I do not deny it. I'm jelly of those crackers you're getting to have right now. They're Costco crackers. Ooh. Oh, they're Costco they're crackers. Good. Well, not like a Kirkland brand, but I like Costco. I like the uh, I like the branding on that. How you been, man? It's been a while. It's been a you're while. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Talking to me? I, Caleb, oh. I haven't seen you in forever, bro. I see Rick like, oh. eh. Every five, four or five days, he, he comes out of five hours. He comes out of his cave every four or five days or once in a while. True. True. He's right like, on. Is the sun here yet? I, it's like I, nuclear I, apocalypse. Rec- <laughs> recommended vitamin D. So walk outside a little. <laughs> hey, should I be doing that? Should I be getting vitamins? Dude, you should be uh, outside in the sun at least 10 minutes to absorb the sun. A, a I, okay. Does like walking to the car, being in it and then Getting off and going to work, does that count as my 10 minutes? Yeah, if you accumulate 10 minutes of that, sure. Okay. Then I'm, I guess I'm, I'm getting a good amount. There's maybe more than that, then it's like you're getting cancer. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Do you guys take uh, vitamins, like health vitamins at all? Or well, that's no? what I was I asking. Do. I don't. I do. I, do. I take a shitload. Uh, yeah. What do you I, take? I take a lot of uh, host defense uh, mushrooms. Um, for for nerves, for stress, for anxiety, for um, memory loss. Uh, and oh, I need stuff. that. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I got dude. Lion's mane, dude. That shit's great. Cool. Um, I also take uh, men's daily and uh, Flintstones. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, because as kids, we took a lot of like the Flintstones vitamins, I and like, Flintstones. I'm not I'm not giving any of that to myself or my kid, and I'm like, I should maybe I should be doing that. I'm I'm doing it for both. <laughs> I give, do, I, I'm like giving it to them, and I'm like, and three for me. Mm-hmm. You doing any I, of that, Caleb? I'm taking vitamin C for like immunities, especially yeah. right now. Especially right case. now, yeah. And I'm taking the men's health gummies that I got at Target. That's uh, yeah, yeah. We we uh, I think we have some that are on sale at at, uh, at work right now. In case you're looking for adult and kids gummies. Oh, dude, I got some CBD gummies. Oh, yeah. I might, might hit, I might hit you up for those. Yeah. Anyway, Caleb, what else you been up to, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nothing much, man. Just been here, quarantined. Yeah. Um, I haven't really, we haven't really left at all, so I'm just here, just here. Man. What's the uh, going back to school situation for you, you guys? Going to be going back in, in August? Don't know. So the cool thing is. Work at a private school, so our principal can do whatever she wants. Cool, cool. <laughs> and nice. she's really uh, like not wanting to go back to school. So I'm, we're thinking. Well, I mean, it's not official yet, but we're thinking we'll probably, probably be online for like the first semester. Yeah. And then maybe like see what happens the second semester. Um, but so that's the cool thing right now, being in private school, is that we can do whatever we want uh, as far as going in class or out of class. Because I know Donald Trump right now wants everyone to go back to school and i'm like i don't really don't want to i don't think a lot of people want to either yeah i saw that uh uh trump was uh quoted as trying to put pressure on uh governors to like open up and everything and i was like no he he said he would cut school funding if they don't put people back in school i'm like dude (laughs) seriously (laughs) that's crazy that's crazy get out there and vote everybody (laughs) seriously (laughs) shit shit, dude That's uh, that's terrible. It's everything's so, bad, right? Everything's on fire. <laughs> I know. So again, we're just really it's lucky that, that we're working at a private school that we can that our principal gives us the option. She's I again, we don't know officially yet, but I think she's going to go with like on, online teaching for the first semester. It's just like it's going to be weird, but hey, it's better than getting COVID. You know? Yeah, yeah, just for getting sure. It to your whole family, you know. Yeah, yeah, because I've I've seen I've seen posts online people just whole entire families getting it like. I mean, because no one was showing symptoms and stuff like that, and uh, I, that that stuff's rough right now, man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, you know, sad stuff aside, you know, there's still world still goes round, it's news still happens. Yeah, it's true. Because that means it's time for headlines. Headlines. Are you all ready for some headlines? I'm ready, ready? man. 
That's good. It's <laughs> just the opposite. <laughs> just the opposite. <laughs> what you got going on, Caleb? What's going on in the world? Well, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys heard of this company named Rockstar. Oh, they did, um, you know, Grand Theft Auto and yeah, uh, Red Dead Two. Yeah. Um, well, the uh, the developer for LA Noir, who he works, he's been working with them with Rockstar. And so they're mm-hmm. working on making a triple A game VR, triple A VR game. Uh, Way. I know the details about that, but he wants to head this triple A VR game. Open Start world VR? I'm guessing so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Open world. Open right? world VR. So that's going to be Man. interesting. I don't know how that's pretty interesting. That. Um, the, that studio. That sounds insane. What was that? Did they say the name of this? I forgot what the name of the studio was, but I know they they went through a lot of a lot of shit for their um, <laughs> their like employee practices and stuff like that um, after the release of that. Like it was it was horrible. Uh, but I think they ended up firing some people. Um, but I didn't even think that studio still existed. So the fact that they've been working on this for a little bit, I mean, that's pretty cool. The so uh, you know my kid uh, Rick's kid. I mean, they're always playing VR um, together every now and then. And they the games that are out right now for VR for like, let's just say kids or whatever, um, they they do feel limited in scope. So as far as like an open world VR, like you, you think about the processing power of your computer and how much it has to do just for VR alone. Yeah, dude. And then add like open world to that. Like, geez, like I, don't, I can't I'm like scared of the requirements for something like that. <laughs> Unless it's like super low res, like everyone's just a a square with eyes (laughs) and it doesn't have to render much. No shaders. (laughs) Like top down old school Grand Theft Auto. Right. Oh, that'd be kind of (laughs) cool. I was about to say it's too where like I think they might get some ideas from like Minecraft, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because Minecraft VR is a thing and that's kind of open world in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So maybe they go with some sort of like maybe it's like a small open world. (laughs) I don't know. That's interesting, man. That's that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, they never yeah. said how big the world is. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's it's true. Open. It's like open it's world. world. <laughs> it's like one block, one city block. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be kind of so, cool. Yeah. So that that's interesting, man. So that's an interesting news. Another interesting piece of news is uh, games. Next gen games are gonna be seventy dollars. <sighs> I read about that. <laughs> Rick's face. I love that this is the first time he's hearing no, it. No, dude. No. <laughs> Why? Why? Yes, sir. Yeah, because yeah. it's just more data that they're putting <clears throat> in. Because is that it? I don't know, man. Uh, That's what the uh, like the, the games are going to be bigger or. I, I know they they've already been bigger, right? Like Gears Five or Four is already like. 100 gigs call of duty's 100 gigs i was like dude but then but then we also have a shit ton of like indies and then small games that are coming to arcades and game pass and shit like that so yeah like, yeah i think okay, it's so did they give an example of what game like what like okay pitch pitch well, me a 70 dollar <clears throat> game no so here's the thing so officially like the 2k uh nba 2k like yeah. they said the price is going to uh, be 70 dollars for that game that's what it's listed as so okay it's listed that, uh, 70 this is not, not okay that doesn't change <laughs> anything for me man. and then the god of war let, creator, them, let them no you were saying like yeah it has to be 70 dollars for these new triple a games like we just it's just more money being put into it so they have to be 70 dollars yeah he was saying that maybe the initial like price will get rid of <laughs> just look at it rick's face <laughs> the the initial price uh would help mitigate microtransactions in the beginning and this and that uh and but they're gonna was... put microtransactions <clears throat> even after we've already paid 70 bucks maybe possibly yeah for sure well that's the thing because that's bs because the all the sports games have microtransactions out the wazoo like in all their games oh, so yeah. the fact that they're starting off 70 dollars, and i guarantee you oh, no. they always have microtransactions <laughs> Yeah. So the, it's the just wallets doesn't work with them. No. <laughs> yeah. So they're just going up. Well, the thing is, people keep buying them too. People keep buying sports games, and they're the no. same every year. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible, man. You know, if uh, only sports games jumped up seventy bucks, that'd be fine. I wouldn't mm-hmm. care. But if if you know, 
all the other fucking cool games have to jump up. That's gonna suck a bit. But okay, I see it. If they're gonna be putting a lot more money into it, then but that, that's what that's what uh, I'm saying. Like, pitch me that seventy dollar game. What am I gonna get? Uh, God of War two. I'm already two. Yeah, I'm, I'm already paying <laughs> fucking how much for the for the new xbox and the new playstation yeah man. yeah yeah uh, i mean they were saying that the cost of development on a video game has changed from 2009 2010 until now that it's it's more expensive to make them because of the technology they're working with or, or whatever the case um so okay it's it's probably is more expensive to make games i get that um but i think this is also kind of pushes that gap further of like well look probably you're probably gonna only really pay that like if you really want like let's say a god of war 2 you know or uh yeah. final fantasy 16 you know what i mean like you're you're not maybe not gonna pay that price obviously for every single game but right so so what they're saying is the next triple a generation is gonna be like 70 bucks it's looking that like that possibly but i yeah. think it's gonna be all games it's the thing so that's the thing if it was only triple a games that were 70 bucks i'd be like you know what? I get it. That's an expensive game to make. I understand it. But like, since I think all games across the platform are going to be 60, then it's like, it's lame. I mean, maybe all the big new ones. I, I can't see every single game, right? Because there's, there's yeah, a lot of indie I, games. I, there's a lot of middleware. I mean, well, games, yeah, of course those... games come out, they'll be right at 30, 40 bucks. Like they, they know, yeah. you know, um, mm-hmm. but the, the price point is going to be especially important. And I think, yeah, $70 is a big ask. And so I feel like if I'm going to be paying 70, it'll, it'll be like, less so and i'm gonna really be choosy about what i'm paying 70 bucks for like day one essentially right i mean like <laughs> like does the controller have biometrics <laughs> like <laughs> give me another feature if i'm paying 10 more bucks man give hey, me man, something else they're giving you haptic feedback you know you can feel the <laughs> the drawing of the bow on your controller uh, yes, as you you're pulling back the rocks you can hear the rocks in the cave 3d like audio Three D uh, audio, uh, yeah, man. I know, man. <laughs> if, if you if you shake a, a Wiimote right now, you could HD rumble, right? You can feel how many ice cubes are in there. <laughs> what? Is this that, true? That's, that's a real thing. <laughs> this is true. That's a real thing. Uh, it's actually on the Switch, though, not on the Wii. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it's called cool. HD. It's called HD rumble. Yeah, that's f-ing cool. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. That's why they came out with games. Uh, it was called One Two. One two switch or something like that, where it was all games just involving only the Joy Cons because, like, they had little yeah. like, oh, guess how many uh, ice cubes are in this glass you're holding, or um, a, I mean, a bunch of stuff like that. But essentially, it was all centered around what the Joy Cons could do, and that was like yeah. a launch game for them or whatever. But yeah, that's that's a thing, bro. HD that's Rumble. Pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Would you yeah. pay seventy right. bucks it, for it, it though? I mean, if if, if you're throwing <laughs> all of that plus more stuff in, yeah, yeah. in a big bundle. Maybe. maybe yeah yeah i guess the that, that be cool it's got to be really cool if it's yeah. not god of war 2 or i don't know what's also a big game well I mean, that's the thing for me it's another souls game i mean that'd be cool yeah i mean for me like it's for me i'm paying cyberpunk 2077 for that price dude but like for ghost of Tsushima, like as much as i want to play that game like i don't know if i want to pay 70 bucks for it like yeah you know, it looks really cool but it's like if i'm going to be picky choosy for like a couple of months in my games and I got to buy the new console, so it's like yeah, I'm yeah. Really right now because I can't yeah. just be spinning like like I normally do. Yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> and that's because games are, are being a lot more greedy with your time. Also, like all games are at, you know turning into a service. Like every game wants you one hundred percent to like invest in their ecosystem all the time now. Like the single player games. Uh, I mean, you, we can exclude those, but anything else that includes any kind of multiplayer. Is just constantly yeah. rewarding you for daily logins and and you know mm. a bunch of packs and skins. Like every game right now is is itching to for a hundred percent of your time, and it's it's hard, man. It's hard. And I and I think that's why I fall behind on a lot of those games, uh, because I feel like once I jump back in it later, I'm like I'm so behind everyone else. Like I don't feel like I can catch up. Yeah. Like uh, Modern Warfare, like it's just like I haven't played it in a couple of months, and so I feel like if I jump in and be like. I don't know what's going on. Everyone knows all these new tricks and new skins. It's like, ah, dude, there's anime, it. A, there's anime tracer pack skins. All your guns are fucking pink and you, <laughs> you, you got anime stuff and you, you got a body pillow charm on your gut. It's, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> there's, so I can't keep and there's pink tracer bullets. I got a Tamagotchi <laughs> on my wrist on, on one of them. That's pretty good. I could play Tamagotchi while I'm playing Call of Duty. It's pretty good. 
Nice. Yeah. I paid like yeah i paid like 10 bucks or something like that oh my god <laughs> you're the problem you're the problem i am i am dude, <laughs> dude it's so good i've Feels... been out the loop a bit bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I, I just feel like at the end of the day it uh, it means maybe you'll play less and less of variety but i mean that's why stuff like game pass exists right or the humble bundles which are are, are kind of cool because you're paying essentially like a subscription price for like a good variety of games and stuff um like like fallout 76 uh just came uh came out on game pass also so like a game like that which i was like well i'm gonna pay money for that you know um you can essentially uh play for free now and that's, well not free but you know what i mean as all you can eat yeah 10 bucks a month or whatever so that's a pretty good that's a pretty good get so yeah video games they're expensive to make <laughs> expensive to, to have as well <laughs> Yeah. Uh, another another video game related news is that <clears throat> Turtle Rock Studios says they'll be back for blood with a next gen cooperative FPS where you'll be able to shoot up a lot of zombies like Left 4 Dead, but oh. in a whole <clears throat> lot of new stuff which makes it unique. So, so this is the Left 4 Dead guys, Turtle Rock Studios, yes. returning mm -hmm. with a zombie co op shooter. Yes. Called so Back another... Back for Blood, right? Yes. Interesting. So, I, uh, I, I, I mean, that team did some some cool stuff. I'm interested to to see what they end up doing with uh, the same, you know, essentially the same uh, formula. But I mean, I'm sure they'll change it up. I'm just I'm curious to see like what they do outside of like, you know, Half Life's tech because I think the last thing they did was Evolve, and Evolve did okay. I think it had like like spikes in gameplay when it launched and then when it did it's like 2.0 launch also but eventually yeah it, it it like died off so i mean they did what they could to kind of branch off but uh i'm interested to see what they do in a new zombie co-op game because as tired as the zombie shooter idea is um there's just not a lot of good one of those you know so if they come out with some kind of cool co-op shooter uh i you know i might, I might be back in to play some of that yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Left 4 Dead is the last one I can think of, which yeah. is the last good zombie game. Uh, Vermintide. <clears throat> That's the other one I think about is like, well, Vermintide. Not not really zombies, but you know, essentially the same idea. Um, they they kind of took that Left 4 Dead formula, um, almost one to one, even. Yes, Fat Shark. Yeah, yeah, a different studio. Hmm. So yeah, cool. so that's that's another cool cool thing coming out pretty soon. So cool. cool. Look forward to that, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, Frank, did we'll, you have any other we'll video game? Oh, do I? Uh, let me let me check out my stuff. I uh, I did. I'm uh, psyched for pull. Chivalry too. Chivalry two is happening. Yeah, dude. They have oh, like uh, you can sign up for their alpha right now. Chivalry me me timbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, they they got some 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 pics of that and stuff. It, it looks really really fucking cool. cool. The uh, the last uh, piece of uh, news that I have uh, on here is the uh, um, mixer uh, getting Ugh. getting canned and uh, and uh, turning I mean, into Facebook uh, gaming. Uh, 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 are they getting canned or are they getting absorbed into so, Facebook? Okay, so here's. Here's what I think happened, right? They acquired uh big streamers like Ninja and Shroud and I forgot what it, what the third dude was. Um and they they sound they signed like a one or two year contract with them or something like that. Uh to they exclusively paid too. they paid them, bro. <laughs> they paid them good money. Yeah. Uh and for whatever reason, uh I guess just wasn't working, wasn't viable. Um they they kind of got sold off to uh to mix uh to, i'm sorry to facebook gaming now so i yeah. think here's the thing though is a lot of people were like oh you know mixer 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 and you know when they when they did that big purchase they kind of didn't really do anything after that like like any kind of meaningful changes to the platform to really like make it grow um like nothing happened so i think i i think what they probably did was they bought people like shroud and uh ninja so that they could sell it so they could have a product they could sell you know make it a you know viable for someone else because 
Mixer, it's not like it's going to continue on. I, they're taking their infrastructure, their whatever, their whatever they have, they're going to pick it apart, throw it into Facebook gaming, however they're going to do it, and uh, and it's going to be absorbed. So essentially, we can probably see a, a, a boost in like Facebook gaming kind of posts, tabs, or whatever it is they're going to do to kind of beef that thing up but yeah after that the, the anyone who they contracted like ninja and shroud they got paid out for the entire contract so it made an easy four mil or whatever it was in like nine months I think it was way more than that i think it was probably more than that and and now they're free agents um i don't well, know ninja is started streaming on youtube yes so ninja went to youtube instead of returning to twitch uh, yeah. which was uh, a big deal because people were like, oh, is, he's going to return to Twitch. But nah, he stuck to he stuck to YouTube. Yeah. Which, I mean, I that's... Hates Twitch. <laughs> the, the funny thing was he uh, he was streaming on Mixer, I think, right before, and he had like two to 3,000 viewers. But when he started his YouTube waiting room, it was already like 13,000, 14,000 people waiting for him to like stream and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to be welcomed with open arms there and See if he does well. I don't know about Shroud though. I'm interested to see what Shroud ends up doing. Hopefully, he goes back to Twitch because I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it just goes to show you too is that people are gonna stick with the platforms. Uh, maybe not the streamer so much because I liked watching Shroud, but I wasn't gonna get into the Mixer ecosystem. And you know what I mean? Like it was just I, I did not want to split where I was gonna watch all the people that I that I watch. You know. Um, yeah. and I think they proved that with, uh, same with, um, Ninja. I mean, he did okay, but he wasn't bringing the Twitch number of people that he had, you know? Um, but hopefully, I mean, YouTube, I think YouTube might be Twitch's like biggest, uh, kind of rival right now as in terms of streaming or whatever, if they, if they get their, their shit straight, they could, they could be a good competitor, you know, if they, uh, go that route. But for right now. Uh, I think when people think of like legit uh, streamers, I mean, people think Twitch right now. Yep. Except Dr. Disrespect. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's technically a news story. That's technically news, man. Yeah, I <laughs> while, guess so. while we're on the subject, <laughs> uh, Dr. Disrespect was uh, just banned. Permanently, permanently banned. Permanently banned from Twitch, and he doesn't know why. Uh, well, and maybe he does Supposedly, by now. He, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I I saw the the clip of his last stream, uh -huh. and he kind of like he looks down at his phone, kind of out of character a little bit too. He's like, F and then like ends the stream. So yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's. I mean, he saw it coming. He ended it like whatever was going on. But that's kind of I don't know. Uh, I, this is not one of his like. Cause he's done like wrestling, re wrestling style, like kind of things with like Undertaker and stuff where like Undertaker was like taking over his stream and stuff. And I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, is this that? But dude, it's been, no, this is an official ban and he has not come yeah. back. So, uh, Twitch did an official statement on their Twitter or whatever. And they're like, yeah, he, uh, did like the general, like, oh, he, uh, messed with the guidelines or whatever. Terms so of service or whatever. It. Yeah. And so it's like super vague, though. could be anything and just super quick done. Yeah, yeah. The 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 thing with the for whatever reason the tinfoil hat theory was that he was he was partnering up with Ninja and Shroud to do their oh, own yeah. streaming service on Prime, which is just this like an idea of a streaming service that's run by like a dude like it's a Twitter <laughs> and he did like a Q&A and like the 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 spelling the like it is so unprofessional like you could totally tell this is just some dude tweeting like yeah we're gonna we're gonna be working on a thing you know but like the the responses man we're just kind of like okay this is not this is not a thing right now mm -hmm. <laughs> so i think that that kind of uh quickly put that like shut that idea down mm -hmm. like no they're not they're not going to prime or anything like that's that's not happening either yeah. So yeah, I don't know. So, Everything's in limbo right now with that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's weird, and they said they won't say why. Twitch said they won't stay, say why. That's the weirder well, thing. Like yeah, I mean, it's probably, I don't know. Be it's it's probably a super sensitive subject that they can't talk about because maybe it's a legal problem. 
And uh, Maybe. if you if you're gonna come out in in front of that, you you probably have to have all the legal advice. And I doubt whoever the social media person for Twitch is gonna have all the info. You know, in my opinion. Yeah. So yeah, so, a lot of lot of lot of moves happening in the the streaming sphere. Yep. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, moving out of uh, out of the game sphere and into the book slash movie sphere, possibly. Okay. Uh, Ready Player Two. Is re- released uh, November twenty fourth. Okay. Uh, the, did they make a book called Ready Player Two? No, it's the sequel book that, that's coming. That's what's going to come out is the book for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, in November, uh, no, nothing being said about Spielberg being attached to maybe making another movie of it right now or anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, Ready Player Two is going to be coming out. Ooh. Which uh, I kind of begs the question: Is like, what is that even going to be about at this point? You know. Yeah, well, like where do they take the story? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, my guess is the main guy. What was his name? Like Artemis or something? Uh, Cyclops. I, I think that was sure. Oh no! Yeah, it was Cyclops in the those new what? ones. The kid he played Cyclops in the the new X Men. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Correct. Just fucking. Okay, okay. Anyways, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just, thinking you know. the guy. He owns the company, and then some allegations come out against him. And then we need a new two players. <laughs> <laughs> what if he can't save the world without his two player? And then that fish girl comes back. I don't think she's fish. <laughs> Does she have gills? She totally had gills. I, or like yeah, scaly true. skin. I don't know, man. That avatar. That was a birthmark, uh, the man. avatar for no, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <perfect> I, I <laughs> was just never happy about the avatar for that stuff man <laughs> i don't know but that, that's interesting uh i mean the the first one i think uh it, it always had mixed mixed reactions because people loved all the references but people also thought like oh this is kind of f-ing cringe you know and cringe. so why cringe uh, because it, it kind of it's like they're trying hard to like uh, replicate uh, like the '80s culture and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like they're trying too hard. Every, I know. I, ag- I agree. Though. I agree. I'm but just why saying. Why do you think that way, Frank? I don't understand why you think that. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Explain. I just, it. Explain. I'm just saying. I just. I mean, you know, it's people. Some people just trying to hit on nostalgia and and, Who's and get you that way. Who's these people? Who's people? people? Give me names. Give me names. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so dumb because like everything is like trying to like. Oh, hit the 80s thing like strange. Yeah. To, uh, OK, so, yeah, quick example of that. Uh, I went to go pick up some some uh, food yesterday uh, around where okay. DeLorean's is at, which is a 80s nightclub that we have here. Yes. Right cool. next to them is like uh, another. Uh, what is it? I don't know. If it was like retro Arcade. retro. No. OK, the flux. Yes. Another 80s theme thing. But in between the two, Caleb, I don't know if you've been out there. There okay. is some kind of 80s. Uh, se- 80s 90s kind of uh i guess like another club or something uh-huh. and i was like another one i was like there's there's already deloreans right there why are these people <laughs> trying to do the same thing but they threw the 90s in there and it looked very like bayside high kind of you know like 90s hmm, kind of pattern look to it um so i was like huh i was like i don't know if we needed a- another one of these and that's immediately well, what I thought. I was like, they're just banking <laughs> on our nostalgia at this point. Yeah, because it used to be the cigar bar, and then they changed mm. it. I know something. It was something along those lines, but I didn't realize. It still I might don't... be there, but yeah, it was somewhere in between, man, because I know cigar bar was there. Yeah, I think that's what it was, because that's right between the Flux and the it's, Yeah, that, that's got to be it then. Uh, so. But I was like, what? It was called like retro something, I think. Uh, I, f- I should have paid more attention. <laughs> I was like, okay, guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> so, anyways, <clears throat> that's coming out. Um, moving on to the from the book world onto the uh, TV world. Yeah. Uh, Umbrella Academy season two. Oh, yeah. Trailer came out. Yes. Coming Cat. out soon. Are we? Uh, are we gonna do uh, another in depth? Uh, coverage, episode conversation, per episode. episode per episode coverage. Minute per by scene. minute, we'll bring back <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> we'll bring back <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> we'll bring back Heidi. Uh, uh, I'm down. At July 31st. July 31st. What do y'all think about the trailer, man? Uh, I just watched it before we started it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked it. 
I'm excited for it. It, yeah, it yeah. looks fucking wild, and and I'm 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 down. I don't know if I uh, uh, like the like. Oh, we brought the apocalypse with us. It's like oh, okay, so it's again we're trying to, you know, uh, get you know beat the apocalypse again. I don't know. I kind of would have liked a a better. Okay. They're okay. Trying to cancel the apocalypse. Yeah, and they're they're trying to do it again, and I'm like, oh, you already did that. Like, I don't know. Maybe it'll be interesting. I mean, they're still on the run from the what's the organization called? Or uh, organization thirteen. <laughs> It's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> what? That's real? That's Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> just see Rick's face. This is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, fe- it feels like it'll be a repeat of the, the first one. But, you know, I mean, they all look different. Everyone's got a different look except Ben. Um, yeah, well, he's a ghost. Is he still a ghost? No, but he's not like yes. ghostly looking though. Uh, when did he not be, stop being a ghost? Yeah, he's still a ghost because he's even still a ghost. End, he's like they can't hear you, bro, or like whatever. He's like tell them or he says yeah, something. I guess you're right. They, they still did, can't see him or but hear did, him. He didn't look see through or anything in the first one. Am I am I remembering well, that wrong? Then no, at Klaus the is the only one who can see him. Okay. Yeah, at the end of the first season, he does his little move where he does little octopus arms and kills yeah, a bunch yeah. of people. But yeah, he yeah, never yeah, but whenever he, whenever he appeared he never looked transparent, right? No, I think okay. it was just the end of the first season. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, when he showed I up, like, that's when he looked the... transparent. That's when he that's when he showed up. That's when he looked transparent. Okay. Whenever when they yeah. could see him. That's okay. That's what I'm remembering. Yes. <laughs> see, I'm not but like the whole time, like I don't remember him being transparent the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I hope it's not a repeat of the the last season. It just they're gonna they still have they're being chased by that organization. They're still fighting against the apocalypse. I'm like, okay, but what else I is new they here? Can, they can get away with it for this one time. If they do it again, then it's like okay, it's kind of more of the same. But uh. I think I'm I'm okay with it happening again one more time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, one more ride. One more ride. Um, the last ride. What's his name was back right Hazel or uh, Hazel yeah. or or was Hazel the girl? Who are you talking the, about? The the two henchmen that were after them. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Yes, was his he was back. Was his name Hazel? I think yeah, so. I think so. I think you're right. I don't know if he was playing the same person though, but I mean he's definitely back in it so. Yeah, I gotta rewatch our videos. Dude, for real, <laughs> scene by scene. Dude, yeah, if you go through our videos, you'll know exactly. What, it's like you watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that yeah. was interesting. That was interesting. So that's cool. That's coming out. I'm excited. Did they say uh, when? July 31st. On July my 31st. birthday. Cool. That's yeah. soon. Nah, it's not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, another show that I think we all loved was The Boys. Oh, yeah, The yeah. Boys. Yeah. Two coming out. For that. Season two coming out. Yep. September? I think so. Okay. Ooh, nice. Am I wrong? I mean, that sounds about right. I, I could I could do with some more boys, man. Uh, that last one ended on a cliffhanger, so yeah. I, I the first do. season was so good. It was. It was so, was so good. good. And watching this trailer, man, like Billy the Butcher, just with his little one liners every now and then, just throughout that thing. Like, what did he say? He was like, "Oh, you knew." You, what did he say? It was like you something about seeing him twice. So like, "Oh, you caught yourself lucky." I forgot what it was, but I was like, "Oh, uh-huh. Billy, he's back!" Like, I love it, dude. I love his character. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm excited i'm yeah. just looking forward to it again <laughs> uh it looked like they had a new superhero there was like some girl in there with like electricity or something in her yeah in her hands I forget her stuff. name it's like storm something mm-hmm. i forget but yeah she's a new she's part of the seven so oh, sweet oh okay it's gonna be interesting i think she's like kind of like it's gonna butt heads with the seven it's gonna be kind of interesting because they released cool. a clip i watched and so it was pretty um Looks interesting. I hope think, it, I hope it holds up to that first season. Yeah, dude. I, it looks like it did, man. Like yeah. it, it looks silly as shit. Like just Billy coming out of like some kind of whale carcass I, yeah. for a little bit. There's like a quick second of that. I was like, what is going on, man? Like, <laughs> dude, yeah. It looks uh, it looks exciting, man. I, I can't wait to check Wacky. that check that out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's those shows, and I mean the shows that we care about. Those are coming out. 
Yeah, yeah. But other than that, nothing else new with movies. I mean, they're going to start production, I think, on Dress World soon. They're going to try to do like a social distancing, make sure everyone's oh, interesting and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to start production on that soon again. But other than that, that's about it. No other. A, a lot of theaters are, are set to start opening up pretty soon, right? Also, right? Uh, what's the yeah. release? What's the release date on Tenant? Uh, release date, I they moved it back to August 12th, I believe, but even then, okay. I don't know if that's going to happen still because cases are still rising. Yeah, it is. This isn't going down, it keeps going up. So yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah, I think our theater, our local theaters are supposed to open by next week, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm going to go right now. Also, like, the, what <laughs> even, what, what even is like, would we go see? I, they're going to be playing old favorites, right? Or something like that. Yeah, old movies for five dollars. Mm. And discounted popcorn and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> but it's in a big screen, really. But I, I could do that with my it's Costco, nice. my Costco popcorn, in my yeah. seventy-five inch. It feels like I'm in a theater. Yeah. <laughs> if there was no COVID going on, I'd be like, that'd be kind of cool. I would go. Oh see yeah, yeah. It. yeah, 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 no, yeah. But since it's still like rising super high, like yeah, yeah. But there's like death waiting like, for you out there. Worth. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Not worth. Nope. <laughs> not worth it. No nope, sir. Nope. 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 Other than that, uh, Frank, I have a uh, real quick. I have an analogy for you. Yeah, yeah, you go for, for it. This? I'm ready. I'm I'm preparing. So here's the thing. Okay, I'm ready. I, I obviously I'm not super far. I'm like episode twenty twenty one. <laughs> God damn it! Watching Full Metal Alchemist before Brotherhood yeah. is like watching the prequels before the originals. No, <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about it. <laughs> My okay. Here's right, the thing. like here's the thing, Caleb. I said I didn't. I never said it was better. We you said are, expanded on the, the only thing. The only thing I you said it was better. On you got more. Me, There's you got no. Me I, never more. I never said yes, that. I never said that. I did not. He Rewind did. the tapes. Rewind, Rewind the tapes. Rewind. It. Play it <laughs> now. Because I've jacked off at work. <laughs> now. <laughs> because I've jacked off at work. <laughs> uh, the only thing I technically said was better was the music. I was like, the music was way better <laughs> in the first one. That's why I watch it for the music. That's no. why I watched that first. You watched it. <laughs> How I, many no. episodes was it? No, it was fifty-six episodes plus the movie. Because <laughs> of that music, bro. Because <laughs> the book. Because music. No. <laughs> The tune. <laughs> I don't know. I like if I'm gonna in, like engulf something I, like that came out first. I was like, well, I, I want to be complete and watch everything. And um, I agree with you. I totally agree. Like, like it was still I, good, right? It was still watchable. Watching, but, yes, but, but Brotherhood. Brotherhood like, yes, I, like I, I yes, this. yes. I know. Everything it's better. Doing, like, I like how they do that. Yes, better. I, like I know. That better. I know. I like how they're going to the next character better. But Dude, didn't I saw you... the episode where freaking Colonel Mustang like. Flame dude, right? Did like, that oh, happen already? Like, that happened yes, already? Dude, that oh, amazing. yes, dude. It so was crazy. Okay. It was so crazy. Man, Mustang is is so much fucking better in this one. Yes, yeah, dude. he is. They he really all is. are though. Because yeah, even, dude. My biggest complaints with Alphonse was that he didn't do anything in the in the original series. I'm like, yeah. Like, when he gets in a fight, he like, uh, and then he di- he well, that doesn't die, but he loses. Like, he throws a couple punches and Body he parts. loses every single time. Gets the and check. But he never like I never I never saw I thought he was cool looking, but he never proved himself to be cool. But in this show, he actually holds his own. I think it's a lot cooler in this show. Yeah, because uh, he does martial arts and he does the alchemy with the circles and everything. Yeah, so I think out. Alphonse is cooler. I think this this I actually think Brotherhood's funnier than the, the other previous one. I think they have a lot more better timing, better jokes. Um Especially with like Colonel Mustang, I think he's funnier and he's I like him more in Brotherhood. Yeah. Uh, Do you yeah. feel like it was moving kind of fast? Because I know I, I felt, like the way it's moving. Though. I I felt like they they're like okay, technically the last one kind of covered some of this. We have to blow through some of that pretty quick. Uh, you know, I mean, still staying with the manga, but they have to kind of blow through the first. I don't know, like for regular Full Metal was probably. Yeah, like twenty some episodes, thirty some maybe. While wow, this one's like, yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah. doing that in like ten episodes, and then we're going to like the real stuff or whatever. Which to to me, like when I was first watching it, right, because we had to wait a week every time to watch every episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for me, it, it felt a bit fast. I was like, well, the other one um, expanded on some of this stuff more. I felt like or whatever. Expanded the, time. the lore. Expanded the lore <laughs> through the brothers Elric. Come on. <laughs> 
I mean, they're just <laughs> fillers, dude. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're just fillers. <laughs> You're a filler, Rick. You're a filler. <laughs> But yeah, no, dude, this one, you're going to like, especially the ending stuff. Oh, my God. It gets well, it gets crazy. I saw Frank, no, you know, Frank, too. you lose. You lose. <laughs> Frank. You, don't say that. you know what, Caleb? This one, dude, you're really going to enjoy, bro. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks, awesome. man. I appreciate it. I look forward to it. <laughs> um, uh, that's good, man. Uh, you're on episode. What of that? Like 20 ish, 21, 20 something, 20 something. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, it's really good. So it's good. I like it. I like it. It's good. Fun. Good thing you like it. What else you been uh, watching, Caleb? I've been watching a little show called TNG. Oh, that, <laughs> oh my god! Star Trek: The Next Generation. Oh, yeah, the yeah, Next yeah. Generation. I was gonna say the new I heard, generation. <laughs> I just heard TNG. I, I, I didn't I, not the end. My bad. Okay. What uh, so what what nice. prompted uh, you to to check out some Star Trek, man? Uh, I don't know. I just like watching it. I've been feeling like, well, actually, you know, I've been wanting watching the next generation for a long time. Yeah, we talked about it. But I'm like, yeah, but I was like, ah, oh, but I'm going to watch the originals first. And every time I watch the originals, I'm like, it's kind of hard to get through. Like, it feels yeah. like a long episode. They feel mm-hmm. long. Yeah. And so this time I was like, nah, I'm just going to start gener- next generation. And so I did. And I, I, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. That's good. Cool. That's good. Yeah. What season you on? season one. <laughs> oh, still okay yeah 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 i'm slowly checking through i'm going full metal uh oh i'm actually like in a 90s kick i'm in like full metal uh tng and then uh, x-men 90s cartoon yeah oh, nice, nice. Yeah, doing man. a rewatch of that huh yeah well actually it'd be a watch of that for me because i don't think i ever i didn't see it as it aired so oh okay okay yeah so it'd be yeah like the first it's the first timer for me yeah, for, well, for us, when we were watching and we were kids, it, it would be obviously not every single Saturday, but we, I mean, we would watch a bunch of episodes and obviously it, it like uh, replayed or whatever. But uh, watching those on Saturday morning on Fox, right? Those were on Fox. I think so, yeah. uh, that was definitely one of those shows where like you would we would want to wake up early to watch, you know, they had like a that like, one, G.I. Like, Joe. Yeah, like an early, uh, you know, morning cartoon kind of block or whatever. That was that was pretty good. Um, Transformers. That, Transformers was some part of that, some of that stuff. Beast Wars. <laughs> Beast Wars. So that's cool, man. Uh, that, I mean, <laughs> are you watching it on Disney Plus? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, that's I'm where it's available. Disney Plus. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. 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 So that's well, fun. um, you've been watching anything else, Caleb? That's it. Um, sure. uh, I mean, just movies here and there, but yeah, nothing special that I can remember. Anything you particularly enjoy? Well, I like Knives Out. That was fun. C- caught up on that. <clears throat> I, I I started it and I haven't finished it. And I hate it's when good. shit happens. I hate <laughs> to have to stop yeah. a movie, man. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like so hard to go back to because I'm like I've already because then I want to rewatch it from the beginning and it's like oh, I'm already halfway through this movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that one. I like Crawl. I saw Crawl recently. The alligator one. Uh, oh, yeah, I that- saw that one. Was that silly? What like the, was that dumb? Or was no, that like legit? No, like it was actually okay. kind of fun. It was okay. fun. Yeah, I just I, I, I just like wasn't it. sure like what side of campy does that you know fall on? It, no, it's it's fun. It's uh, okay. I, yeah, I could see where it goes a little too cheesy, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's it's not. You'd enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, they don't take it too serious and they don't take it too campy either. It's like a nice mm-hmm. little middle ground, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, that, like if, I mean, that's if like if you had a bunch of friends over, like it would be a fun watch. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. And it's not long either. It's really short. Yeah. <laughs> I think if it was super campy, I'd still enjoy it. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that it's at least so, you know regularly good, that's that's good too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing too. Like, I I thought they would take it a little too serious. Like her, like just being like concerned the whole time but she's with her dad mm-hmm. and they're like talking back and forth so it's kind of cool like it's mm-hmm. it's pretty fun yeah, the yeah. only thing that kind of gets me is that they're cg alligators the whole time and okay. so it kind of got me in the beginning like i was like i don't know if i'm really buying this but as it went on i didn't bother me later on yeah it's kind of yeah. don't think about it or whatever yeah that's cool yeah that's cool me i don't know if there's anything else no, well um i anything. bet i've been watching some stuff oh yeah i've been, been watching, watching bro uh, I got to see all of uh, Space Force. Did y'all oh, watch that by uh, chance? 
did I not. Haven't yet. I haven't yet. I, I, uh, I, I was psyched to watch it until they told me that it was pretty bad. And I was like, oh. Well, it's yeah, I didn't not hear bad. A lot of good things. I didn't hear a lot it's, of like great things about it. Yeah. I, heard it was like, I mean, it's, it's it's fine. It's good. The, the production of it is really good. Uh, Steve Carell is fantastic in that. I, I love him regardless. Um, uh, the, <laughs> um, the John Malkovich character is really fucking good. I love John Malkovich, dude. And... And he is just really good in this show. Like, I, because <laughs> so he plays the the chief scientist, you know, and it's like Steve Carell, military man, them bumping heads on how to essentially solve this problem, you know, type of stuff. And so they like they hate each other, but they need each other. You know what I mean? And and yeah. you know, uh, like arguing about budget constraints and what's more important. And you know, you kind of get a little bit of that back and forth banter throughout the show and stuff. And uh, it's it's pretty good, man. Uh, I I like it. Um, the I have maybe have some issues with the the last episode, the the way it kind of played out. I I you could maybe kind of tell they weren't sure about how to to end end whatever the way they did, but um, I, I think I still enjoyed the rest of the show getting there. Um, what's his name? Sonic. Uh, Hedgehog. Yeah, the uh, kid, the kid who yes. plays Sonic. Um. Oh man. I just know it's John Ralphio. Yeah, John uh, Ralphio. <laughs> I mean, he's in it, and he's uh, his like social look, media guy. Yeah, I forget his name. Is it Ben Schwartz? Ben Schwartz, yes, yes, Ben yes. Schwartz. Uh, he comes out, and he's his social media guy. Like, just you know, he's your daily tweet, and he's like, he doesn't get it. I'm like, he's like, what does lightsabers have to do with Wendy's hamburgers? And you know, he's there having to explain why this is funny, and he's like, whatever, you're fired. Like, uh, just like the back and forth banter between a lot of the characters is actually pretty good. Um, uh, I think maybe worth checking out. Uh, if anything, just for John Malkovich alone, he's really, really good. Nice. So you'd recommend it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'd say uh, you, you might not care for the last episode, but I'd say watch two or three episodes and you'll know if you'll like it from there. You know. Okay. The first one kind of leads into the second one and they're like about 30 minutes long. So, you know, I definitely expect to at least watch two episodes back to back because the first one leads into the second uh, other than that, I also saw a little something called uh, Overlord season three. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> the uh, Kale, I don't know if you're familiar with Overlord, the anime. Uh, I'm familiar with it by the cover. OK, yes. Yeah, so you've seen like a, a big skeleton looking dude in, yes. a, in a robe is <laughs> like a arcane shawl or whatever. Uh, Overlord, uh, I really, really enjoyed because of how different it is to most uh, things you'll watch in general. You know, um, most stories are all about the hero's journey. It's like the good guy getting stronger and overcoming evil by the end of it or whatever. All those tropes. And this this kind of flips that on its head. And uh, well, quickly, I'll just tell you the premise. The premise is uh, it's the future. You're these guys play uh, an online uh, MMO uh, game and the leader of this guild stays in there till the end. And what happens at the end is like you think the game's going to be shut down, but it like it like keeps going as like some other actual world essentially like becomes real kind of. And you never get shots of like the kid talking or anything like that. But the premise is, oh, this guy's kind of stuck in a video game. But like from there, yeah, like in a VR video game. But from there, uh, it's crazy because you're basically seeing the perspective of this like guild of like evil, like bad guys uh, and them kind of terrorizing uh like humans, like the good guys, basically the good guys who you would think you would follow in a movie like, oh, this rightful king or, oh, this band of merry men uh, who are fighting back evil. And then you get this guy who's just all powerful. He is like the th this anime concentrates on like how fucking awesome this guy is and how how he's much just, like he he's so strong, like no one can beat him. But because like he because he grinded the fucking MMO. He's yeah. like one of those dudes who just he's like ended. top tier. Like, yeah, like he's like, like, like these top items player in the server. Kind yeah. Of thing, yeah. And like he's like has everything. He's like so strong. And like he, he gives these humans like a little something. And it is like the most strongest thing. They, they don't even know how to make that kind of magic or whatever or how to make those kinds of potions. And 
like and he's just so goddamn strong but it's and he's like smart and he's charismatic like he's so fucking awesome to just listen to like i love the voice actor for this guy uh it is really really good um i i love it because like i said it's just different it's like you're concentrating on like these evil people rather than the oh the good guys trying to fight back evil it's like no these guys are like fucking shit up i mean he's still kind of good though like he still has a conscience right he's not just all evil um he finds reasons to like spare towns and stuff like that, you know, but he also has to do it at the same time while like fooling all of his underlings to, that like, yes, our, our thing is to rule the world, but like, he's also trying to do it like in a nice way, but without seeming that way to them. Um, Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, that one hundred percent recommend hundred percent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think it's worth checking out. And uh, the last thing, I did dabble in a little bit of um, uh, Attack on Titan Season 3 as well. I'm kind of trying to get through my backlog of stuff that I hadn't seen. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm mostly done with Attack on Titan Season 3. Wait, what um, are you thinking? Uh, I'm liking it. Did you did you watch it? I yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. Um, I don't want to say too much and be spoilery about it. Um I think I, I need to finish watching it so I can have like a complete uh, opinion on it. Because right now it's like, OK, wait, what's OK? So you're saying this happened? You know, I'm still like in the middle of figuring it out. Yeah. And uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, for sure. Yeah. That intro and that outro. I don't know, man. They're really good. They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say, Caleb? Well, I was going to say that's how it was in the first episode of season two. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. No. Like yeah. Because there's that big gap between yes, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I was like, actually, so you're like, wait, lost. what the fuck happened? Yeah, you're like, yeah. who are these people? Oh, oh, that's you, right. Yes, it, there, there's yeah. definitely like, I was like, do, am I supposed to remember any of these people? Because season two kind of concentrates on like a, a a group of them that were elsewhere. It's, I mean, like I had to kind of re reconnect, and I was like, okay, so what happened is the focus of the second season is trying to find out who was connected to Annie, the the first female Titan. And they were like, oh, she was friends with someone. She has friends with someone who is on the outside. And I think that's why you were like, who the hell are these other people? Like, I don't remember. Like, you know, you needed to like recap. And so that that took a while for me to just get in, back into two. And that was back when, you know, it was coming out. Um, mm -hmm. And I felt a little bit the same way with this one. I totally had to watch like recaps of season one and two to be like, Okay, I think I know where I'm at now, and then just started watching it basically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's good so far. I guess I'll, I'll have a final opinion of it later and stuff. Uh, but as of right now, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm enjoying it still. You guys playing uh, any video games? I played The Last of Us Two and beat it. You beat it? Yep. Damn. I uh I uh, actually I started that. I started uh, streaming that actually. Yeah. So yeah. for uh, any of y'all who are interested, link in the description down below i'm gonna start streaming <laughs> some uh last of us 2 uh, i'm gonna do my whole playthrough on there because why not <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah you can catch me live checking that out uh, i'll be i'll be tweeting some some live notifications whenever i'm gonna go see that or whatever so play that yeah i've been right. playing uh total war uh warhammer 2 oh how is that i i got all the dlc for it because it was all on sale oh yeah the and summer yeah, Steam they had a really big sale on it, and I was like, fuck. <clears throat> so I got all the DLC for it. Cool. Um, awesome. the, the DLC, but that, that like adds other <clears throat> factions and stuff? Yeah, other factions, other other heroes, lords, or whatever. That does. I, I'll be right back, yeah. gentlemen. You keep go talking. For it, bro. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Total War is fun, though. I'm doing goblins now. I saw you with the... Um the little when i guess i don't know if you were being sieged or if you were sieging but i just saw a bunch of dudes outside a gate or whatever one time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh so that way you can still manually control right yeah dude which is which is it's really awesome how in depth you can get in in like siege warfare and just regular combat you know the yeah difference yeah. of play styles like the way I was playing the dwarves versus the way I was playing the lizardmen versus mm -hmm. the way I'm playing the goblins now, like completely different. 
Yeah. Like with goblins, since they're so weak, you got to be extremely sneaky. And there's an option where you can like auto resolve a combat, mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes that really fucks you. And like you can have like I, I I've played where I've had like almost no possibility of winning, and then I fought that game and I won. I won that fucking like battle. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it, it it's it's pretty cool. The things you can do in that game that's cool like man using elevation fog trees the environment you know just actual tactical battle strategies like yeah yeah it's, it's it's awesome it's amazing well, that's cool i uh I, I'll, I i mean i love the total war game so i would love to you know if and i ever get a chance warhammer man i know i know that's especially why it's like you get all the warhammer like just the orcs and all that you get all of that that's pretty all good all the lore and everything and <laughs> it, it, it it, the, the it's voiced so you get to hear them talk it, it's so mm -hmm. good dude it's so yeah. good and dude, your computer would be able to run that like oh that's so what i want to see i want to see it running that would be pretty cool dude yeah i would like to see it running on your computer yeah what's up caleb <laughs> uh, i have to leave because both my kids are crying oh, okay it's okay crazy over there all right caleb I, i'm gonna sign out here okay hey. caleb We'll see, see you, you later. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Caleb. Bye. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. I hate that guy, dude. <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I mean, uh, we're, we're getting close to the end here, but I did want to mention the last thing I'd been playing was uh, a, li a little bit of Death Stranding. I picked oh, it yeah? back up. Yeah, I picked it back up uh, from where we had Sam left Bridges? off. Yeah, Sam Porter Bridges. I was like, oh, dude, I need to finish this. Like, I, I, I just, I, I feel like it's something I need to finish. It's, it's in my backlog, and that's just one of the things I kind of started picking up again until nice. Last of Us kind of derailed me a little bit recently. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping to still play through that. I, I do want to finish that. Maybe I'll finish it on stream. Even. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I'd watch. That'd be cool. Um, you been playing anything else, man? Or that's it for you? Uh, just that Dota and uh, just just Magic. Just you know, my go tos, man. It yeah, kind of sucks. Yeah, right? like uh, currently uh, the, the situation I'm in, you know, I, I don't really have access to the consoles that much. Yeah, yeah. So I can't really play the the big console games that I want to play. They're still in backlog. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Well, uh, we're, we'll we'll uh, we'll change that, man. We'll we'll get reasons to, for you to play console games because we gotta we gotta actually, play a lot of a lot of console games pretty soon. I was gonna say actually the the, the other thing I have been playing is uh, Half Life Alex. Oh, I saw you on that the other day. So you haven't passed that yet? No, no, no. I I am I am towards the end though. I'm I'm sure because I've already reached the station and they like even uh, Russ, the, the, the your guide basically is, yeah. is like hey. This is probably gonna be like the last station here. You 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 better stock up. And I'm like, oh shit, okay, the game's gonna end soon. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want it to end. It's so good, man. It's so good. Should we should we do a playthrough of that for the channel? What do you think? I I, I think it would be pretty cool. I yeah. think it'd be pretty cool to, to to have people see like the actual game. Yeah, for people you know? who can't play it and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. And especially to see you experience because you, you're first time blindly playing yeah. through it yeah i'm that dumb rick i'm that dumb yeah. i know what you're gonna uh, say I, mean, I was gonna say unique uh <laughs> you, you, your playthrough would be great it's you're, very, you're very special just <laughs> <laughs> i want to see it <laughs> i'll be down man we'll, we'll transform the 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 little studio we got going and man yeah. man we'll play some half-life dude yeah all right i'm down i'm down but uh all right guys i think we're gonna close it out there we're hit, hitting about an hour, or so we're we're gonna cut it off, man. It's uh, it's been good catching up, bro. I feel like I hadn't talked to you about stuff in a while. I know we do that on you know, on purpose so we can do this stuff. But yeah. um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll see when we get together again. But if you guys want to be checking us out, we're actually gonna be uh streaming more often. So, uh, link for that in the description below if you guys want to check us out whenever we're playing some video games and uh, and these will be live at some point. So, um. That about wraps it up. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking us out, and uh, we'll be back. Bye. Bye. Hey.
we're gonna have to come back next podcast and 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 just confess <laughs> no. which animal made us harder.